Guillaume Fauri, CEO of Airbus, one of the two aviation titans, has issued a bold forecast about the industry's future. According to him, the long-standing duopoly may soon give way to a triopoly, with China's COMAC rising as a serious contender. Specifically, the balance of power that Boeing and Airbus have guarded for decades is now under threat from COMAC's C919, a jet carrying what some call its secret weapon. Therefore, the aviation world may be stepping into a brand new era, so why could COMAC reshape the global aerospace order? What exactly is this secret weapon, and how does it make China's aircraft so powerful? Let's find out. The C919 is a narrow-body jet designed to take on Boeing's 737 MAX and Airbus's A320neo, the familiar workhorses of short- and medium-haul flights. On paper, the timing couldn't be better. Airlines are desperate for fresh aircraft, while Boeing and Airbus are struggling to keep up with demand. It looks like the perfect opening for Comac to strike. So what is the C919 really like? Seating between 158 and 174 passengers, it mirrors the capacity of a 737 MAX 8 or an A320neo. With a maximum range of about 5,500 kilometers, it can cover most regional routes across Asia. COMAC has also highlighted lower operating costs thanks to aerodynamic design improvements and the use of advanced materials aimed at boosting fuel efficiency. Inside, the jet promises wider seats and larger windows, catering not only to airlines' efficiency demands, but also to passengers' comfort. With all of these, the aircraft got over 1,000 orders, and indeed, this number sounds impressive. Yet dig deeper, and the picture becomes more complicated. Most of these orders come from Chinese airlines and leasing companies, many of them state-owned. In other words, the Chinese government is playing both the role of manufacturer and customer. On the international stage, in contrast, the jetliner has yet to make a real breakthrough. Global carriers remain cautious, even as they face decade-long waits for Boeing and Airbus deliveries. So, what's really holding the C919 back from conquering international skies? And could its secret weapon eventually tip the scales in Comac's favor? Wait, don't forget to hit subscribe, because we know you're going to love what's coming next. Trust us, you won't want to miss it. In aviation, everything begins with trust. Airlines are not simply buying airplanes, they are investing in reliability proven through millions of flight hours. For Comac, that trust ultimately rests on a single element, the engine. The secret weapon of the C919 is the CFM Leap 1C, built by CFM International, a joint venture between America's GE Aerospace and France's Safran Aircraft Engines. On paper, the Leap 1C looks like a next-generation power plant. It promises up to 15% lower fuel burn, 15% less carbon dioxide emissions, and 50% fewer nitrogen oxides compared with older engines. Noise levels are also dramatically reduced allowing the aircraft to meet strict airport regulations. Behind these numbers is advanced engineering, ceramic matrix composites that tolerate extreme heat, carbon fiber fan blades for strength and lightness, and 3D printed parts that improve durability while cutting weight. For airlines facing rising fuel costs and environmental pressure, these are exactly the promises they want. Yet the reality is more complicated. Although it carries the same leap name as the engines powering the A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX, the 1C version is not identical. Concerned about intellectual property, CFM deliberately withheld certain advanced technologies from the Chinese program. As a result, the Leap 1C is closer to an upgraded CFM 56, the workhorse of the previous generation, than to the cutting-edge engines flying on western narrow bodies today. The consequences are clear. This engine is heavier, reducing payload flexibility and efficiency. Its performance is also slightly weaker, leading to shorter range and higher fuel burn compared with its western rivals. In a business where profit margins are razor thin, even such small differences matter. This raises an uncomfortable question for airlines. Are they getting the same level of engine quality as with Boeing and Airbus, or a diluted version? The two western giants can point to decades of operational data. Comac cannot. For many carriers, that lack of proven reliability is reason enough to hesitate. And so, the Leap 1C becomes a paradox. For China, it represents an undeniable milestone. Cleaner, quieter, and more advanced than anything Comac has ever fielded. Yet at the same time, it highlights the limits of the country's reach, underscoring how dependent the jet still is 
on Western technology. Until the Chinese maker can prove the Leap 1C's long-term dependability or develop an equally advanced homegrown alternative, the C919 will struggle to win true global recognition. However, that's not everything the aircraft still has to overcome. At first glance, the timing looks ideal. The aviation industry is desperate for alternatives, with Boeing and Airbus buried under record backlogs, and airlines forced to wait years, sometimes more than a decade, for new jets. On paper, this should be a golden opening for China's C919 to make its mark. However, with a sluggish production ramp-up and lingering performance shortcomings, the aircraft is unable to fully capitalize on the opportunity, at least for now. Each delay only deepens the hesitation of international airlines already wary of betting on an unproven aircraft. Firstly, designing an aircraft is one thing, building it at scale is another. The production problem, this may be Comac's toughest obstacle yet. Since production began in 2011, the Chinese maker has only managed to deliver 10C 919s. That's not even one per year. Compare that to the two Western makers, which can roll out more than one aircraft per day, and the gap in industrial capacity becomes staggering. Comac has set an ambitious target, ramping up to 150 aircraft annually by 2030. But the road is steep. Aircraft manufacturing demands absolute precision, where even the smallest flaw can have catastrophic consequences. This is not a process that can simply be accelerated by throwing more resources at it. It requires discipline, expertise, and decades of refinement. Second, besides the production problem, closely tied to that is the issue of performance. Marketed as a rival to the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo, the C919 struggles to match its competition in real-world numbers. Its shorter range and lower fuel efficiency make it less attractive to airlines that live and die by cost per seat mile. The reason traces back to its core components. Yes, the Leap 1C engine is a step forward from older generations, but as mentioned earlier, it lacks the cutting-edge features built into the versions powering Boeing and Airbus fleets. In effect, the C919 is handicapped, not quite as efficient, not quite as far-reaching, and therefore less economically competitive. So where does this leave Comac? Despite all the challenges lined up against it, Comac shows absolutely no signs of retreating. The C919 may not yet be in a position to dominate international skies, but there is one undeniable truth. This manufacturer is carefully, steadily, and quite visibly positioning itself as a rising force in the global aviation arena. Comac is not merely designing and producing a single airplane. It is laying the first stones of an entirely independent Chinese aerospace sector. Within such a shifting landscape, even the deeply entrenched industry giants, Boeing and Airbus, can no longer simply look away. They are being forced to acknowledge the growing momentum of this Chinese competitor. So what exactly makes this new aircraft maker a serious and potentially formidable contender? First of all, its long-term growth potential is difficult to dismiss. China is not just another aviation market. It is the world's fastest-growing commercial aviation environment, with projected demand for thousands of new aircraft over the next few decades. This means the domestic market alone is large enough to sustain COMEX rise, and no other player is better positioned to seize this opportunity than a homegrown manufacturer. For China's own airlines, particularly state-owned carriers that have strong incentives to support national industry, the C919 naturally emerges as a prime candidate reducing reliance on Boeing and Airbus. But the story doesn't stop there. The real challenge, and also the true opportunity, lies in the long game. Neither Boeing nor Airbus is underestimating Comac. Quite the opposite, both have publicly acknowledged the threat. Industry experts and executives alike have warned that once the Chinese manufacturer perfects its production processes and continues to elevate its technological base, the company could manufacture aircraft at both a speed and cost level that genuinely rival its Western competitors. That prospect alone has the potential to reshape the structure of the global aviation market, particularly across China and other rapidly expanding emerging economies that are hungry for affordable, reliable planes. And this concern is not just speculation, it has already been confirmed at the very top. Airbus CEO has openly stated that the future of aviation will no longer be limited to a Boeing Airbus duopoly. Instead, the industry is heading toward a triopoly, with China taking its place as the third major power.
When one of the two entrenched Western giants concedes such a point, it becomes clear that Comac has already advanced beyond being just a potential player. It is actively altering the rules of the game and forcing rivals to reimagine the competitive landscape. At the same time, Beijing itself is pouring unprecedented resources into research and development. This is not a narrow focus on improving the C919 alone. It is a broad, uh, ambitious strategy aimed at creating even more advanced aircraft for the future. By forging close collaborations with top Chinese technology corporations, universities, and state-backed research institutes, the Chinese maker is accelerating the pace of innovation. These partnerships are fueling breakthroughs in a wide array of areas. Highly efficient next-generation engines, ultralight composite materials, cutting-edge avionics, and digital design systems. Such aggressive investment is not just about refining today's product, it is about rapidly closing and eventually eliminating the technological gap that separates Comac from Boeing and Airbus. If this pace is sustained, the Chinese manufacturer will not merely be chasing its rivals, it could soon transform into a serious global force, one that even Western airlines might eventually have to consider as a viable option. But there's a deeper strategic element here. The driving engine behind Comac's rise lies in a combination of strategic vision, steadfast leadership, and overwhelming government support. The role of the Chinese government cannot be overstated. With extensive funding, favorable policy frameworks, and direct backing from the highest levels, the government is creating a uniquely supportive environment for the Chinese maker to scale up its operations. Such support is without precedent in the aviation sector, granting the manufacturer a huge advantage in closing the gap with its competitors. However, this also raises difficult questions about fairness. Boeing and Airbus must compete without the cushion of comparable state subsidies, while Beijing benefits from substantial national resources, something that could tilt the balance of competition in ways that concern Western policymakers. Meanwhile, the leadership of CEO He Dongfeng has proven to be crucial. Rather than chasing flashy short-term victories, He Dongfeng has consistently emphasized building strong fundamentals, raising production efficiency, steadily advancing technology, and prioritizing international certification to open access to global markets. His leadership style is pragmatic, yet ambitious, aiming to create a foundation sturdy enough for long-term competition. Under his guidance, Comac is consolidating its position, not only within China's domestic market, but also as a gradually emerging force recognized across the global aviation stage. Finally, this country's ambition clearly extends well beyond its borders. The company is not satisfied with merely dominating China's aviation market. Its vision is international, by targeting fast-growing regions such as Africa, Southeast Asia, and Latin America. Markets where demand for new aircraft is soaring, but where cost considerations weigh heavily, it positions itself as a highly attractive, cost-effective alternative to Western aircraft. If successful, this strategy would allow it to gain a foothold in markets that two giants cannot serve as flexibly or as affordably. While formidable obstacles remain, the trajectory is unmistakable. Comac is no longer a minor player quietly learning from its elders. It is a rising challenger whose progress could shift the balance of power in the aviation industry. If the company continues to build momentum along its current path, improving technology, scaling production, and earning international trust, it could well reshape global aviation in the decades ahead. The future is not set in stone, but the outlines of a potential transformation are already visible. So the question remains, can Comac overcome its hurdles? and emerge as a truly global aircraft manufacturer? What do you think? Share your thoughts with us below. And as always, thanks for watching, and safe flights wherever you go.